everyone and welcome back to Sea Lunar Plays Happy Birthday. It's been a little while since I last played this considering I played most of it in one sitting. So our suspects are the uncle, the sister, and the ghost, I think. I forgot. It kind of sucks, but anyway. Whoa. This is a lot. It seems the victim had no shortage of presents, though they won't do her much good now. They'll all go to waste. She was clearly loved. Oh, poor thing. But there is a letter here. Let's see. Huh? What's this card doing all by itself here? It's open. Should I take a peek? Yeah, sure. Dearest Anna, leave or I'll get rid of you myself. I'm not afraid to make this birthday your last. What the fuck? This is... it's a threat. Okay, what kind of idiot would give a ten-year-old girl that? That's... terrifying. This murder was clearly premeditated. But why would someone threaten a little girl? This scrawl is messy. Whoever wrote it must have been trying to hide their handwriting. Well, I have messy handwriting too, so I kind of take that as an insult, but okay. You're, now you make me feel better. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Do I have to show the threatening birthday note to everyone else? Christ, someone really left this for Anna? Why didn't she tell anyone? Well... It's too late now. She was going to tell me, wasn't she? And I was too boozed up to listen. Well, that's your fault for getting drunk, dude. I'm sorry. That's... Someone really left this for my sister? How horrible. Oh, the kitchen. I didn't explore here yet. What's this, though? Huh, what's this document here? It doesn't look like it belongs in the kitchen. I know, right? Wait, this, it looks like an inheritance deed of some sort. There's a logo for a bank embedded on the bottom. I'm not the one for legal speak, so I'm not quite sure what it says. I think I should make it my business to find out. I smell a motive. Interesting. A motive for who, though? That's the question. That's, where did you find this? I found it lying on the table in the kitchen. It's some kind of inheritance deed. That's right, I was discussing it with our nanny earlier. I must have simply left it there. How foolish. Wow. Why do you need to know? It's possible that it could be related to the case. I have to look at the situation from every angle. True. It details what I would like done with regards to my bank. My brother and our nanny get small shares. But it was actually Anna who was to take over the company. Now, I don't know what I'll do. Her sister isn't cut out for it, obviously. Not cut out for it. That's right. They were never great to begin with, and after the passing of her dear mother, my eldest daughter's grades slipped dangerously low and haven't recovered. Unlike Anna's due to her age, it was originally going to be my elder daughter, of course. But she'll never be the leader that Anna could have been. Interesting. I just recently had the bill revised and I planned to tell Anna tonight on her birthday, but I never got the chance. Yeah, cause she's dead apparently. I see. Do I have to share that with anyone else? I wonder, can I share the threatening card too? Who would do this? Who could want to get rid of my poor girl? Who wrote this? Whoever it was, I'll... Sir? Why didn't you tell me? Or maybe it was me who wouldn't listen. I'm so sorry. Maybe I should just leave him alone. Yeah, good idea. I think I know who the killer is. Wait! I'm not ready for this. Oh, God. I need somewhere quiet to think. There can be no mistake. The answer is obvious. Um, I, if you say so. I didn't save. Can I save now? Nope. Uh, the uncle, I guess. No, I don't think that's right. I should think this again. Bruh. 
Uh, the landlady? No! No, I don't think that's right. I should think this again. Bruh. Oh my god, it's the sister. <laughs> oh, uh, hi! Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, did I startle you, detective? I'm quite sorry. All I wanted was a glass of water for my dry throat. Cough lies! <laughs> did she hear me talking to myself? Well, she clearly did. Come on, it's written across that disguised look on your face. If you have something to say, then say it. Uh-oh. Um, you? You killed her. You killed your own sister. How could you? That's mean. Did I know it? That's a heavy accusation, and I don't believe you can back it up. I can prove it just fine. With what? Go ahead and try. There's nothing there to prove. I love my sister, you know. I can't imagine what I'll ever do without my beloved little sister. Oh, really? Because I happen to have evidence that suggests your relationship may not have been so rosy after all. Start small. I need evidence that proves that the sisters were at odds. That's gonna be a problem, because I don't know. I found this mixed in with Anna's birthday gifts. Someone threatened her. I believe it was you. Believe is not proof, detective. Nothing points to me as the writer. Hold on for a moment and you'll see where I'm going with this. Ooh! There are other pieces of the puzzle that point to a troubled relationship. Oh, the beds maybe? You claim that you went to bed together at nine just as you were supposed to, but the beds were made when I checked them. They looked completely undisturbed. Children don't truly make their beds every time they get up to use the bathroom, do they? I say the beds were never used. You were fighting, not sleeping. She was probably afraid of you. Duh! Is that all? What makes you think we were fighting? We could have been having a late night slumber party for all you know. The conclusion is that you were fighting stems from everything else. Anna was terrified of you. In fact, I believe that she moved against you first. This is preposterous. Anna would never do anything to me, and I never do anything to her. Oh, really now? The beds mean nothing, and the note could have been written by anyone. None of it points to me as the culprit. I'm getting to it. We should move on to what happened next. I believe these pieces of evidence tell the tale for us. I need proof of what happened during the incident that incriminates the sister. You had a fresh, unbandaged gas across your cheek when I found you in the bathroom. That's no simple scrape. It's a bullet graze. That's... What are you talking about? There were only three shots fired total. Her shoulder, her ankle, her head. Anna took all of them. How incompetent do you think I am? Any proof of what happened in the incident? Oh, there's more to that? Uh, unless I picked the wrong one. Anna was the one to take the gun from your father's bag, wasn't she? Not you. She was scared after seeing the card. She wanted to talk to her father and uncle about it. But they brushed her off. She knew that she had to protect herself. Damn, a ten-year-old knows how to do that. Wow. I'm impressed. She fired that bullet at you in self-defense before you took the weapon from her. You hit her three times, but she got you once. You got a hold of the weapon somehow. You must have hit or kicked her. But you weren't a great gunman either. You shot her twice before managing to take her down with a third. And even then, you had to stand at close range to hit her head. But you managed it. You even planned ahead after you saw your sister take the gun. You took gloves from the kitchen and slipped your own shoes into your uncle's boots. You dragged your own sister's body to the closet. You likely cleaned yourself up in the bathroom. I doubt he knew what you were doing. But you even went so far as to have your boyfriend cover for you while you prepared. You didn't want to get caught. But that wasn't all in your original plan, was it? You had a few telling issues. There was something strange about the crime scene that could indict a child like her. What was it? There was something odd, almost awkward, about the crime scene. There were a couple of bloody glove prints left on multiple windows upstairs. Was the killer going to throw the body and the rest of the evidence into the yard below? I think so. They clearly tried awfully hard to get those windows open after all. 
Now those windows were tough. The rims were rusted shut, but I believe most adults could still get them open if they tried. But a 14-year-old girl, perhaps not. You were forced to hide the gloves and boots under the bed, but the body wouldn't fit. So, with a storage closet it was. The amount of blood almost suggests that it was dragged slowly by someone weak. You no longer had time to escape. You had to hide in the bathroom. You had a bit of a hard time with the whole thing, didn't you? But what about the mask? Don't forget about the mask. The killer was wearing it. But it wasn't found anywhere near the crime scene or me. What's so funny? The mask was never worn by the killer. Don't forget that it was you who told me about the mask. All I have is your word for it. And since you're the killer, and make no mistake, you are. It was clearly never used. You knew that your uncle was planning to sleep in the living area. You took the mask from Anna's gifts and planted it there beforehand for a bit of insurance, if need be. Tell me then, Miss Detective, what motive would I have? Even if it weren't joined at the hip, Anna was still my sister. And that's just it. Huh? She looks nervous. I bet she's praying that I haven't found it. This is the final nail in the coffin, the motive. I found this on the kitchen table. Your father was going to announce it tonight, but you happened upon it and read it first, didn't you? It says that you're no longer your father's heir. You were already jealous of your sister, weren't you? When you saw this, you snapped. You planted and executed the murder. You murdered Annabelle, your little sister. <laughs> you weren't supposed to find that, you know. I locked the doors as soon as I got out of the bathroom. It was easier than hiding it, but I guess it wasn't enough. She has the master key in her hand. She must have pickpocketed me in the bathroom. <gasps> that bitch! Anna deserved it. She killed our mother. She ran out into the road. She would have been the one hit, but Mom pushed her out of the way instead. She killed her. She killed the mother who loved me and left me with the father who doesn't. That's not true. Your father was worried sick. He loves you very much. He'll be devastated. Heh, <laughs> not in comparison to Anna. He doesn't. I was always the afterthought. It was always, my dear darling, the bright, beautiful, lovely, intelligent, sweet, perfect little Anna. Well, no more his perfect little Anna's dead. <gasps> the tip of that key suddenly looks rather sharp. You were right about one thing, Noah. I hated Anna, but I did love her too. When I wrote the card, I wanted her to run away. I didn't intend to kill her. Yeah, right. Cry in your cell. But when I saw how she was afraid of me, when I saw her grab that gun and huddle in the corner of the bedroom, something came over me. I thought I may as well prove her right. <gasps> the key, she stabbed me. But, but it doesn't hurt. <gasps> Am I immortal? There was no blood. The gas, the gas is already healed. What witchery is this? You know, karma's a bitch. What, what happened? It didn't hurt at all. A ghost. It's true, there's a ghost. Ghost? <gasps> no way. It can't be. You're... <gasps> Wait, whoa, what? And, uh, Anna? Damn, I was not expecting that. Anyway, hey mom, look, there's our bus. We're on the wrong side of the street. Anna, stop, come back. That's the middle of the highway. But we'll miss it. I don't want... Anna! Mom? Mom? Oh. It's a dead end. So we're going to see the whole thing unfold now, huh? Please, please don't. Sleep well, sis. That's right, of course. I'm Anna. I was murdered ten years ago. How did I get back here? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sis, 
I don't know what came over me. I can hardly believe it myself. I screamed when I pulled the trigger. I cried in the bathroom even though I tried not to. It wasn't like I wanted to be found right then. I'm sorry. Please don't kill me. You aren't going to make our father lose both of us, are you? What should I do with her? Turn her in or don't? I, I turn her in. She fucked everything up. I'm sorry, but you have to turn them in for the crime they did. I still can't believe. I'm sorry, sir. No, no, perhaps my living daughter can get the help she needs. And now perhaps my Anna can be at peace. For that, I uh, thank you. It's a shame that the police had to get involved, but I suppose there was no other way. She'll be in jail for a long, long time. I just can't fathom how my girl could do this. How could a child of mine? Just make sure she knows that you love her too. But after what she did to Anna, I'm sure that Anna forgives her. Are you sure about that? And I'm sure that she wants both of you to be happy. Get help for her sister and keep on cherishing each day. Work on bringing the family closer together. That's how she would want to be honored. Live for her too. <sighs> You're right. You're right. That's exactly what she'd say. Thank you for everything. You're wise beyond your years. It's nothing. It's just... I know what it's like to lose someone. I'm sorry. Please be happy too, alright? I will. Well, I ought to be going. Everyone else is already waiting outside. So the father doesn't know that the detective is his daughter, I guess? You know, if Anna had gotten to grow up, I like to think that she would have become someone like you. Thank you, and goodbye. Goodbye, Dad. Okay, so, I guess this is kind of off-topic. I don't know if this is true or not, but I think most murders happen between a family member and the victim. Judging from what I heard, because, I'll be honest, I've been watching a lot of documentaries, and most of them I come across, it involves a family member killing the victim. Don't know why. People are just sick in the head, but anyway, let's continue. Marjorie, or Marge, I don't know how to pronounce it, but anyway. So you remember me again. I'm glad. <laughs> of course I do. I'm not sure how I ever forgot. You're like my mother, after all. Marjorie, what's going on? This all happened ten years ago. My sister was never caught. Why are we here? Spirits aren't bound by time. Without flesh to bind us, we're as free to walk through the years as the living are through the physical realm. But that didn't make up for the agony of remaining trapped in this gloomy old house. A place where we can only walk at night. A prison. For me, it was the regret of my lost daughter that kept me trapped here. For you, it was like the way your sister simply walked away. For your 20th birthday, I thought we should do something rather special. I took you back 10 years to the day you become trapped here with me. Your memories got a bit messed up during the journey, but it couldn't be helped. I think it was necessary. If you haven't solved the crime on your own, it wouldn't have held the same meaning. Time isn't static. You changed the past. You uncovered the truth behind your own murder and decided what to do with that truth. Did I do the right thing? That's something you have to answer yourself. But I am very proud of you. Spirits don't have to age. You could have remained the little girl you died as. But you blossomed into a beautiful young woman under my care. I raised you. I feel like I'm finally at peace too. Oh, where are you going? We can finally leave the house. We can move on. Can't you feel it too? Huh? Come with me, dear. I want you to meet my daughter, and I'm sure your mother is waiting for you too. I would say that you kept your waiting long enough, but with what you've changed now, I suppose you haven't kept her long at all. Follow me, and happy birthday, dear. That is insane. Wow. Huh. <laughs> Given the circumstances, I suppose this is the best gift I could have hoped for. Mother, I'm coming. 
Wow. I did not think it was going to be the sister, because in the game, it said it was a guy. I guess they did that just to throw us off. But wow, I got to clap it up for that. That was crazy. I was not expecting that. I thought it was the uncle, because most of the evidence pinned it on him, I think. But I don't know, this game was really fun to play. It was a little bit stressful with all the evidence, but overall it was fun to play. But yeah, anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I guess I'll see you in whatever I make next. Goodbye, for now. Bye.